what we do as zookeepers is we spend time making them toys, giving them things to do. And just like you were saying, we want to use their behaviors in the wild to make sure that they get a really fun experience. Everyone's going to start with one box. Now, the tricky thing about our project is we don't get to use tape. But because we're putting them in with the animals, these animals are covered in fur. Their fur can get caught on the tape and it can be really uncomfortable. They really don't like it. And if they're chewing, sometimes they use their teeth to open things. Like the raccoons might chew on the toys to get them open. If they eat tape, it can go into their stomachs and make a blockage in their stomachs. It can make them very sick. And we'll be using a special type of string. This is a special string made out of paper. It rips really easily. So that if this goes, if they eat some of this, it'll break down in their stomachs and it'll be safe. We're gonna start with one box per person. So you each can grab a box that works for it and put them together. Engineers design solutions for real world problems that are complex. Each problem to be solved has criteria that solutions must meet in order to be considered successful, such as in this activity where a successful enrichment toy should engage the animal's attention and be designed in such a way that the animal must use its natural skills to interact with it. Ideally, youth should be involved in identifying the criteria for a successful design. That's a good solution. Instead of using the tape, just wedging the pieces together. Yeah. How do you want to attach this? Do you want to attach it with more string or do you want to attach it a different way? Do you want to like, make it like there any more mm -hmm. string? There is more string. Would you like some? Constraints are limits that restrict the design, such as here, where youth must use a special paper string to hold the boxes together so as not to harm the animals. Criteria and constraints are often in tension with each other, and youth may need to consider trade-offs in order to optimize the solution. Is there a side that can close? Can you help me find a way to close this? So they can go in? This side's a little rip. This side might be harder to close. This might be a good side for them to go in. Or what do you think? What would you like to do? Facilitators help youth navigate decisions about trade-offs during design and building by asking questions about how youth envision their design working helping them compare potential solutions and offering opportunities to test their designs. All right, my zoo campers, can we step out? Do not step on any enrichments. We're gonna let Sam put them in. Thank you guys so much for making these meerkat toys. Sam's gonna put them in for us and it's gonna be so much fun. In this camp, youth were able to make enrichment toys that were engaging and fun using only materials that were safe for the meerkats.